everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dumped it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Took a power from me. Folks, Mint Mobile is a great provider. They really are providing a good value, and they're doing so with good pricing and really good customer care. Uh, really a tremendous service that we stand next to and we stand by when it comes to offering services to the SMT Nation. Use the link, mintmobile.com forward slash Sneed. I'll go ahead and put it in the description box below. Here are the new plans. Uh, they were just upgraded. Uh, you will see that there is additional data compared to the way that it used to be set up. You will see that the pricing is the same throughout all plans. No changes, but you get more value. Folks, check them out, Mint Mobile. The link is in the description. Use it, unlock those savings. What up, nation? What's going on, good people? We're doing some testing. We have uh, AT&T 5G Plus here at the SMT HQ, and we're testing the iPhone 14 Pro Max on an enterprise account, Los Mobile. All right, so Death Star. But the special thing about this testing is we're testing SA 5G. All right, so this is standalone, 5G, no LTE, if it is indeed the case. And these are some of my first tests taken. And I just want to see how it performs. I'm here at the home site at the HQ. And we know that we've got DOD and C band on the site. So we got the two components and frequencies that are in N77. This upgrade was done last summer. All right, so we got 39 ping, 15 jitter. 366 download and 388 upload on the loaded ping times. All right, 510 down and 15 up. See the 5G plus in the icon. It's about 719 in the PM in the evening. In and of itself, not a bad test, but nothing special, right? And I think what I can show you guys is, let's see here, where would I find it in here? You'll see with the, with the 5G on setting, it enables standalone if you check the box. All right, so to show you guys that it does indeed work, and that was the speed test there. Give you guys one more. Give you guys another test here just as a follow-up. I want to do more testing at more sites to see what it's like. I want to see if there's a difference in the downlink, if the uplink is any different, you know, that sort of thing. If it truly is standalone, right, we're losing LTE. And I will tell you guys that that downlink is better than what I typically get. I typically, I'm in the three and four hundreds, so that, that seems to have improved. Maybe it's the signal quality, I don't know. The uplink is about the same. If possible, maybe a little worse. All right, this test 536 down and 12 up. You know, the pings look the same jitter, I don't know. I mean, let's go ahead and test it with, uh, with the NSA. I'll turn standalone off. All right, so let's go ahead and disable standalone. Can we do that? There we go. Okay. And we'll see if that makes any difference. I don't expect it to. I could be wrong. Okay. Yeah, the downlink looks about the same. So the fact that the downlink is better might just be coincidental. Well, this is better on NSA. Much better on NSA, actually. Wow. Okay, so that's... That's improved. I typically don't see that uplink here. Huh. Maybe they... Are the, are the AT&T engineers doing something good here? Okay. 578 down, 45 up, 36 ping, 21 jitter. And then we got the 286 and 153 for the loaded downlink and uplink jitter. Uh, latency, excuse me. Wow, okay, so better on the NSA connection. I like what I'm seeing. But it goes to show you we're, we're losing bandwidth in the SA. Right, you're better off leaving it on NSA and everybody's in a hurry to get to SA. Like, for what? <laughs> yeah, that's a better connection, folks clearly a better connection you're just getting so much more uplink all right so 576 down we're in the 30s 40-ish range on the uplink 39 ping 7 jitter those download 
and upload loaded pings are really good. We ended up with 39 uplink. All right, guys, what do you think of the testing there? iPhone 14 Pro Max. We're on QCI 7 or 6. I forget which it is. Los Mobile Enterprise account. Uh, big shout out to the homie Los who enabled the SA setting for me. Made it happen. Got to get it provisioned on the account level, I think, on the line. But there you have it. I'm going to leave mine in NSA, folks. I need that uplink. I really do. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this. Have you been connecting to it, the SA on AT&T, or been using it on T-Mobile? How's it been for you? So far, guys, I am not a big fan. I'm not a fan at all. Better on NSA. Same thing goes with T-Mobile, too. Reliability, uplink, you know, consistency, it's better on the NSA. But let me know what you guys think and your experiences. Comment section. Hit me with it. Thanks for watching, folks. Like, share, and subscribe for more. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.